This is Matrix Lord 2212, and I'm reviewing as Guardians of the Galaxy number 10. Okay, so, as you know, I'm not crazy about the War of the Realms, and I felt that the War of the Realms storyline wrecked a lot of books and damaged a lot of books. Here it is, a book that I started to collect and I really enjoyed, with the exception, I think, one issue or something, but cool characters, um, you know, the Executioner, you know, Scourge, um, we had a frog as guardian. It was weird, right? He had the powers of Thor. That was cool. Thunderstrike's kid. Annabelle Riggs was bonded with Valkyrie. Then she had a girlfriend. And then it was um, Angela, who's the sister to Thor. Kid Loki. Um, did I leave anybody else out? But they were interesting characters. And I enjoyed the book. Um, and it sucks because these stupid like big storylines that they got tied into took away from the enjoyment of the book, you know, and, you know, then Marvel has plans. They want to do things. So they got to change things with the characters. Like they want to have Jane Foster as Valkyrie in the comics, uh, because she's no longer going to be Thor, you know, cause we have Thor's back, you know? And then, so, you know, and then Loki dies, I guess, in war of the realms and then the kid Loki's gone, you know? But, I mean, it was an enjoyable book because it was like the underdogs in a way. And it was cool and it was a cool concept. And, yes, they did mention as Guardians of the Galaxy as a joke at the end of Endgame. But I did feel true like like the creator of As Guardians of the Galaxy, um, I think his name is Cullen Bunn, that, yeah, you know, it, I feel bad because I was reading his, like, his, his thing afterwards about this book. And how he had uh, plans for a hundred issues. Like he really wanted this to, to you know, do really well. And I feel bad it didn't do really well. Um, and it sucks because these storylines with these stupid water realms, you get forced into it. It takes issues away from the book. It really messes up your plan when you're trying to do stuff. And this, this they had the, the team was battling um, Angela's other people that kidnapped her, the angels, but not real angels as in God and angels, but like they're aliens, you know, and they're like, you know, like a realm, like connected to Asgard, you know, and heaven as an H E V E N, not the real heaven. So these angels weren't really angels. They were evil and they were bad. And, you know, Angela had to, you know, they t teamed up with the uh, Malekith or whatever to try to destroy the earth, mid which is Midgard. So that as Guardians of the Galaxy had to stop them. Teamed with the Punisher, teamed with Lady Sif. So there's some casualties. Like, you know, the Executioner um, was do got really mortally wounded and was going to die. And then he went into the, the dimension of heaven and was taking them out. And then they used the dead bodies of the Asgardians to battle the angels. Um, and then Angela, like, you know, she can't stand them because, you know, they basically took her from like her home, I guess, or took her away from Odin, Asgard, so she don't feel um, loyalty to Asgardians, and she don't feel loyalty to the angels, I mean, to Earth, she does, I guess, so, and then you had the character of Annabelle Riggs, who just lost, like, Valkyrie, who was connected to her, and they decide to just, you know, do their own thing, her and her girlfriend, and the team is kind of splintered now, like, the frog goes back to the frog people, Angela's just wandering around, Scourge, I think, is in Valhalla, because uh, he died, I believe, um, but he could always come back, because they come back, right, the Asgardians, so, I mean, it, it was a, it, it's a cool book, I mean, I was, you know, I gave it a chance, and I was happy with it, you know, for its run, they had some cool stuff going on with it, but I think the, the War of the Realms really, like, ruined it for them, and they got, I don't like when Marvel forces these guys to put these, their books in there, and it ruins it. So they, it kind of deserves another chance because of Marvel's interference with that stupid War of the Realms storyline. And I really, I wasn't on board with the War of the Realms. And I'm sorry, I may be like one of the biggest Marvel guys, but like, you know, into it. But when a storyline doesn't work, storyline doesn't work, a crossover. And War of the Realms didn't work, I felt. So a lot of people weren't on board with it and the sales probably weren't really there either. Okay, so I feel bad that our As Guardians of the Galaxy is canceled. So yes, As Guardians of the Galaxy with issue 10 is canceled. So another book I'm not going to be getting anymore. Which I'm going to be doing videos about this too because there's other books that I'm reading as canceled as well. 
All right. Great book. Good luck. You know, I hope we get to see them again. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye for now.